Hi foodies, how about some dal, bath and bhaji with some nice hot pepper and some kuchila. The nice cup of tangapani. Come on into Jenny's walk and let's put this grassroots recipe together. So foodies, for that dal we're going to be making, I'm going to be using onion, pepper, this is a podina, garlic and some leek. And in here I have my, this is mung dal or lentil dal, that red dal. It is not like that yellow split peas, but this is green split peas. So I'm going to mix both of them together and let's give that a good wash. Nice wash until it gets clean and nice. And what you could do, you could soak your dal for a good half an hour before you start cooking. So it's going to start cooking very easily. So good wash, get all that bubbles out because this really caused your dal to bubble over a lot. So let's wash all that out nicely. In my pot here, I'm bringing my water up to boil. So it's just start coming up to heat. Let's add our dal. Get all those dal in there. And we're going to add a little bit of namak, which is salt. Haldi powder, which is turmeric. Danyan powder, which is coriander. And hing we all know what hing is so what the hing does is calm the bubbles down seeing it's a protein let's add all the stuff in here and just forget about this dal leave it in low heat and let it just boil away and do its thing mm -hmm. so there you go foodies a beautiful boil as you can see so you do not cover it you leave a little peep hole just like so so you don't bubble over or oh, another secret is you can leave a spoon across the pot just like so so whatever bubble and comes up it will not overflow but i do not have that problem this hence the reason the how much times i wash and flush the doll out all that bubble stuff was eliminated so i just put my lid on half away and let it do its thing okay foodie so let's take a look inside here now so this is a dal gotni. So you're going to just gote it as you would say or give it a little swizzle like this. I didn't have to do much because this thing really melts away beautiful. Look at that. But I want this to be a little more creamy. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a tadka or as we all know it as chonke. So let's move this pot a little bit on the side. And in here is my tadka. So in there we have some cumin seed. So rest that right there raise that heat up there you go or you could leave it on the flame itself right there and rest that there and we're going to let this infuse we're going to let that garlic and that cumin seed infuse in there and get a nice roast and we're going to add it to our dal so this looks beautiful my dear foodies so now in goes a little bit of hing for some flavors and our red chili pepper that looks marvelous so let me just bring this back to the burner there you go and here is some dry cumin seeds powdered over there powdered cumin and now slowly we're going to add it into our dal and that is what we call chunky you chunky your dal and you infuse it with those lovely flavors so this is a little thin as you can see so i'm going to put some heat up and just cook this until it reaches the consistency that I like. Okay, foodies, so our dal is done, almost done, that is. So let's cook the bhaji. So let's take a look here. So in there, I have dashin bush bhaji, and this is what the leaf will look like. This is an open leaf, also known as baha leaf or cocoa leaf. If you get the rolled up leaf, which is the middle leaf, it is even better, but I don't, I'm not so lucky. So this is what I have. So I give it a good cut. I have here, this is a stem. I didn't peel the stem because I love the stem skin in it it gives it a lot of flavors and it also have a lot of um health benefits here is some leek i dice that really nicely and my sofrito or my green season you all know what that is so in here i have some pumpkin i grated kabocha squash and i'm adding a piece of carrots some lime juice here or lemon juice anyone you have to squeeze it so you don't itch this is that lovely pimento peppers from the beautiful island of trinidad and tobago here is garlic onions and in here i have my riri peppers and I have some green bird pepper or chili peppers, as you all will know. So let's get this started now. So first of all, foodies, I'm going to add the onion and the pepper and the garlic. There you go, just like so. And just leave this for a good two minutes here in the pot. This is coconut cream. If you could get the coconut cream, you could go ahead because I do not want to use, this is what it looked like. 
coconut milk. So by using the coconut cream, you get a lot of nice coconut flavors, but the bhaji don't turn too white, white, and it's not too sweet. I want it to maintain that lovely green leafy color. So you see how the cream is just melting in there. That's exactly what you want. So let us add all that leaf now. So here is the bhaji leaf, the pumpkin and the carrots with that green herbs that I have in there. Let's and there you go. So let's put that lid on. Give it four minutes. Let's take a look now. Okay. So let's see what's going on in, in here. Okay, this wither down really nicely. So at this point now, I want to squeeze my lemon juice. Just give it a nice little squeeze. See one of the two pip went in there. That is a seed. We're going to get that out. Three, four. <laughs> it's right here. One, two. So just try to fish them out because if you bite them in your mouth, it wouldn't taste really nice. So now I'm going to add some salt. If you have some vegetable base, you could also add that. And we're going to taste as we go along. And this is a point we're going to be adding our water. Don't be amazed, foodies. Believe me, you need all that amount of water if you buy bhaji in NYC. We don't get the soft, beautiful leaf. So you're going to stir everything up, let everything loose from the bottom of the pot. And we're going to let this cook slow and slow until it's all done. Lovely dal, bat, and bhaji here from Jenny's Walk. So let's put that lid on now and let that finish cooking. Take a look now. Okay, low and slow does it. So you see that, my dear foodies? Nice little gentle boil. I opened the pot like four times already and keep moving. So now I wanna take my spatula and just give it a little mash because I told you these leaves are very tough that you will get here in NYC. So there you go, foodies. This looks marvelous. You see those little oil that we see in there, just a little bit there that is from that, uh, the cream that we use, so now let's do a lovely plating with our dashing bush bhaji. So here is that lovely rice and you could check on my page. You will see how to make this rice. It's a nice little hack how to get your rice with less starches in there. So tune into Jenny's Walk and take a good look at that video. And here is our dal that we made with that green split peas and also that chana dal or the lentil dal. There you go. I'm just going to add that in. Now you're going to make it a little runny because when the dal gets cold, it's going to get very thick. And here is our bhaji. Yep. Dal, bat, and bhaji. How many of you remember this grassroots recipe? There you go. That looks perfect. And my dear foodies, to enjoy this, you know we will put a nice piece of pepper right there. We're going to have a little hot pepper to enjoy. And I want to shout out to Alicia from Tobago. We have a nice little cuchilla. There you go. A little mango cuchilla right on the side there. What a delightful dish to enjoy anytime. This, my granny would usually make this dish during the week for us to enjoy. And egg bottle tangapani, which will be water, cold water. And you're going to enjoy a nice glass of cold water our enamel cup here filled with cold water, our dal, our bat, and our bhaji. Enjoy Jenny's Walk, always bringing great flavors to the table. Like and share this video with your friends and family. Follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Enjoy!